Watch out for that guy over there. Watch out for the tires. <laughs> Nine down, six to go. Um, today was good. We did some two minutes, did some red area, so challenging and uh, looking to get back out here on Friday. What kind of fine tuning are you yeah, doing I'll with the offense right now? Good. Well, we're still working on our staples and uh, our fundamentals, trying to get better each and every day. And um, every position group um, has a ways to go, so we're trying to make strides every day. How do you like the progress of, of Jack and, and Kai midway through camp? Good, good. I think they're, uh, they're getting more and more turns with uh, the concepts, and they're also giving us good feedback on what they're comfortable with and what they might want to have back burnered, so that's, uh, that's crucial to us as coaches. Talk about what you're seeing out of Jack that you like and areas that are maybe where he's different than you expected. Well, Jack's working hard. He's played a lot of football, seen a lot of football there in the Big Ten, so uh, we rely on his experience, and it's showing out here. He he very, uh, rarely gets fooled you know, twice by the defense, and he learns from what he sees, so we're happy with uh, what he's doing out there. Seems like both Kai and Jack seem to have pretty good pocket presence, stepping up and avoiding the rushes, keeping their eyes downfield. Are you seeing that? Yep, yep. I think they're doing a nice job of going forward in the pocket when they can, and um, remaining a passer, you're right, keeping their eyes open so we can uh, extend plays when needed. How's yeah. Damian Moore doing as a sort of an all-purpose back, and especially also as a receiver these days? Yeah, good. Damian's getting a lot of plays, and we've got a good stable of runners that uh, we're trying to get a, as many turns with as we can. But um, out of the backfield, Damian is really sure-handed and reliable. Has he uh, changed his game, improved at all and since last year? What are you seeing? Yeah, I think he's um, he's a little leaner than he has been the last couple of years. Looks like he's taking really good care of his body and uh, looks to have a, a little pep in his step. Bill, so you have your offense, which you know is the offense, but it obviously is different when different players are in different positions. How will people sit in Memorial Stadium, see your offense the same, and how will they see it differently when either Jack or Kai is a quarterback instead of Chase? Yeah, I think um, Chase was a really good uh, field general and did a great job for us. He made plays with his arm and his legs. And um, I would expect us to make a few more plays with our arm going forward just because very few people can be like Chase and can run like that. So our guys are not statues, but they may not be the scramblers that Chase was. And um, our wide receiver group is uh, new, a bunch of young guys, but they're uh, really exciting and they've got a bright future ahead of them. Pardon my, pardon my ignorance. Um, <laughs> what are the differences between Kai and Jack? And would you feel comfortable going into the season without naming a starter that, that both guys can play? Yeah, I don't know what we would do in terms of a naming. Um, both those guys uh, are really you know, good QBs. We're glad that they're on our team, and we think they're going to make our offense really potent. Um, you know, Jack uh, gets a lot of plays now. Kai's been here a little bit longer, but uh, both those guys can uh, make every throw on the field, and we're thankful for that. If there's not much difference between the two coming into the season, are you comfortable playing uh, whoever the backup is with some semblance of regularity to keep them ready? Yeah, I think we need to get our guys ready. That's one thing that hurt us last year. We never blew anybody out. Not only did we not blow out Nevada Reno, we lost to them, but we didn't blow out Sac State or these teams where we need to get everybody on the field and get them some experience, um, whether we win by a lot or whatever happens. So. Um, you know, we just need to get the guys the turn so when they're ready, they can step in with a little bit of experience and not just cold turkey. If you sense there's not much of a drop off between one and two, uh, are you more comfortable with it not necessarily being a three touchdown lead before you play a backup coming into this year? Um, yeah, that's a lot of speculation. You know, I'm, I'm kind of a simple time. I'm, <laughs> I'm just a football coach. Um, yeah, I think you know we'll determine what we're comfortable with and what we're not. We'll do what's best for the team. But, uh, the quarterback room is doing a nice job. I feel like we're uh, making strides in the pass game. Um, we're going to run the ball well. We're going to have good old linemen and good running backs, but we want to be complimentary in the pass game and be able to get down the field in chunks. Can you talk a little bit about the skill sets of these receivers? It looks like there's a lot of things that, that a lot of them can do really well out there executing the offense so far. Yeah, we've got some big guys that can go up and take it off the top shelf, and then we've got some guys with quickness too. Um, so the receiver group is working hard with Burrow, Toller, and uh, we're finding out what they do best, and we're going to tailor the offense, you know, to their strengths. 
a lot of the routes that you guys have been running early in the spring have been timing routes across the middle that are hard to hit when you've got new combos of quarterbacks and receivers, but they seem to be really on the money. Is that yeah, evidence of what they did in the offseason? It probably is. Probably is. The guys threw a lot in the offseason on their own and uh, established a rapport, so I'm sure that is the result of that. Justin, I asked him, he said that he thought that Kai and Jack have pretty similar personality. Not necessarily, you know, they are similar quarterbacks, but similar yeah. characteristics just in their in their makeup. You see that? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think they, either of them are real rah-rah guys, but they lead by example, and uh, they're not afraid to, to bark at somebody or uh, stand up and say what needs to be said. So uh, we're very pleased, yeah, with their leadership traits. Can you talk about what you see in terms of how they're processing the field and how they're processing the offense as they go through it? Yeah, I think uh, the more turns we give them, the faster and the better they'll process through their progressions. So um, football is a, is a game of turns and uh, repetitions. And uh, really, football is a great sport because the more you practice, if you practice the right way, the better you get. You don't reach that point of diminishing returns. So our key as coaches is to give them just so, so, so many turns that uh, they've seen it all by the time they get to the game. So we're trying to achieve that with the QB so they can um, really feel like they're seeing it before it transpires on game day. And can you talk about like how they're processing things against like specific defenses? Like are they recognizing things pre-snap and knowing that there certain options aren't going to be there or are, they, yep. Yep. Or are you no. just having them rep through everything right now? No, they definitely are. I think they definitely are. And we're seeing the same defense day in and day out. <laughs> you know, and I'm sure the defense, uh, they probably know us better than we know ourselves as well. So um, that's the way spring ball goes. All right. All right. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, Thanks, sir. Thanks, man. Good. Thanks,